Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Arc the Lab 3. So, I redid what little I did, actually, uh, since saving the game last time. It was really a lot of dialogue reading and nothing else. So, um, yeah, I went through all the hints again, and um, I think we were really only wrong about the location. Both are deep and high. Who would want all or not? One for all, all for one. Different not him and they shining. Oh, yes. So, emoji seemed correct. That might be it. That seems pretty positive. So, right. special emoji somewhere. Automator path or peak? I mean. If it's anywhere, then it's the peak. So it's either deep down at the lake, and that's apparently not it, so then it must be the peak. At the top of a meta mountain. The deep must be referring to the meditative state of the monks, and the high part must be referring to the physical topography of the mountain. The Earth Guardian Shrine is also at the peak of a meter. Ah, good point. It must be the top of the mountain. I can't think of anywhere else it might be. You've convinced me. Yeah, I mean... Okay. Last time... Uh, Mar Marcia was uh, expressing doubt. Too bad she didn't actually stop me. What do you think, Alec? Well, I guess I did have my chance, huh? I could have just kept trying until they sounded confident. You're right, it has to be there. Let's really, really hope that it is there. Okay, this should be all the same. Thankfully, you can't skip through dialogue pretty quickly in this game. <clears throat> so replaying things like this, scenes like these, it's not too painful. Hmm. Well, we're at the peak of Mater Mountain. Hmm. Next time, remind me to sit out the to sit out the hike. My feet are killing me. Hey, look! There's a group of emojis. Well, that's good. Oh, that one looks special. Look, one of them is a shiny golden color. Uh, I mean, not really. That has to be the shining one referred to in the riddle. I think you're right. It's him. Shining gold. I don't know. He has a beard, that's pretty much all there is. But they all have blonde hair, for some reason. Whoa, whoa, it's coming this way! Step back, it's getting closer! Marcia, look out! They're all coming! We're going to have to fight! Oh no? And... Cheryl, I mean, I suppose we should take Cheryl, huh? Theo wasn't really involved in this quest. Okay. The King Himoji, level 40. Okay. I mean, he's slightly less pathetic than his underlings, I guess. Let's see if we can steal from him. Didn't think about trying to cardish, but I mean, would be silly if that was actually possible. Steal? Power Jelly! Yay! Okay. Touch and miss. Okay. Too bad. Not quite enough to kill the emoji. And turn. Um, sure. Steal. Steal failed. Oh well. Uh, should I have her kill them? Uh, no. If I can, I would like to give um, Marcia at least the kill of the, of the king. Oh. 
<laughs> he can put to sleep, apparently. She did not actually kill the king. I mean, maybe I should have used magic, huh? Ouch. Wait, is he sleeping or paralyzed? Uh, whatever. Two. Of course. There. We didn't get an item, though. Now that I think about it. We defeated the Golden Himoji! Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and we got the final ingredient for that ingredient for that synthesis recipe. Inferno powder. Did we? Oh, okay. Good to know. <clears throat> we better get back to paces with an uncertain why it is waiting. I ho I mean hopefully he is this time. He said he'd meet us at the Weapon Society. Great. To the Weapon Society then. Good. And it doesn't appear as if White is here yet. That's weird, he said he was coming here. And he's had plenty of time. Is this gonna be the same we've heard before? Was he here? Wyatt? No doubt about it. Oh, okay. Haven't seen White in a long time. Wait, what? Not recently. Huh? What's going on here? Was he just trying to get rid of us? Hmm. Man, this is terrible. We finally have the last item for the synthesis, but no Wyatt. I say we track him down and try out that Inferno Power on him. <laughs> Shut up, lads. It's not his fault. He would be here. Something terrible must have happened. Yeah, he realized you like him. <clears throat> Come on, guys. Do you always have to fight? We have a problem to solve here. Did you say Wyatt? Yes. What's the matter? Huh? I just remembered something. Wasn't he the one that was interested in that legendary synthesis? Do you know about that? Hold on a second. Let me ask the smith. He'll know. They're here right now. Looking for him? Oh, well, yeah. Now? Aren't they a little late? Wyatt... What? Well... Actually, we do have two items for, synth for a synthesis here. What? But you said you didn't know anything before. What's going on here? A reason no one remembered is that Wyatt dropped them off almost a year ago. He came into the shop, dropped off the, the materials, and left. Uh... I remember now. That's right. He said that he wanted to try some legendary synthesis, but was missing one ingredient. But that can't be true. We just talked to him a little while ago and arranged to meet him here. What? Ooh, no way. Are you calling him are you calling me a liar? Wyatt told us he'd meet us here. But that that can't be. It can't be true. Why? What are you all stammering about? Because Wyatt Wyatt is Well, he's dead. Big surprise. What? P -p 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 pardon <laughs> He's really dead? This has to be a bad practical joke. I'm completely serious. He died a year ago. What? I'm getting shaky knees, folks. Talk to me and make it good news. No. I won't believe it. It's a lie. Admit it. He was real. I saw him. That smile, it was real! Cheryl... Could it have been someone else? 
Right, we were with him a short time ago. And when we left to get the third material, he said he'd meet us here. It definitely sounds like Wyatt. A year ago, he was looking for a legendary synthesis method. And we told him to try Tikva's house because the synthesis books were better than the libraries. So he went there to look for a clue as to where to find the last component he needed. What? Then he must be... Cheryl. <laughs> there must be lots of people that come in here with crazy synthesis, synthesis quests, uh, right? This is just some kind of funny coincidence, right? No, I don't think so. It seems like something Wyatt would do. Stop, stop, stop! La 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 la, I'm not listening anymore! <laughs> Come on, I mean, we've fought phantoms and ghosts of all kinds and skeletons. <sighs> well, pardon? Where are the materials the person from a year ago left? Oh, right, those. Uh, hold on, I'll be right back. <clears throat> That's everything he left. Hmm. Hmm, what? So, what do you have? He left a light alloy and a weapon. He called it... Marion. He called it Marion. Yes. How did you know? I just do. Don't ask me how again. Why he used to tell us that this gun was part of his soul or something, or some such nonsense. It's not nonsense. So, how did he die? Well... I don't want to know. La 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 la. Come on, lads. Who cares how he died? This job will end whether we know or not. Why listen to more freaky details? Come on, Alec. Let's go. This job is is so done. And I'm getting creeped out. No. I want to hear it. I want to hear it all. But... But... Lads, I have to know. Please. Wow. She said please. So how did he die? He found what he thought was the location of the last component, at Roma Lake. Yeah, but of course he was wrong. I mean, Roma Lake, come on, that's ridiculous. Who would be looking there? When he got there, he saw that a child was drowning. The boy was saved, but Wyatt didn't make it. He must have taken that one clue in the book wrong. <laughs> Stupid mistake. Amateur. Cheryl, what are we to do with the Inferno Powder now? Why are you asking me? Without you, we would have never found it, and you knew why it best. In a way. This alloy and the assault gun, they're mementos of a man. No, like he said, they are him. What will we do with them, Chero? I think if he were still alive, he would have wanted to see the product of a synthesis. We should complete the synthesis. Right. I think you made the right choice. Yes. It just... I just want to say that this whole thing is just creeping me out. Still. Okay. Here's the final component for the synthesis. Inferno powder. So let's see what light alloy, an assault gun, and inferno power make. Right away. I think we have a winner. Check this out. <gasps> it's a... Shotgun! Uh, okay. That doesn't sound very legendary, but, I mean... The synthesis resulted in a new class level of gun! Woohoo! I guess I made the right choice. I think Wyatt would be proud. And he would want it... wait. No, he would want Cheryl to have it. <sighs> I'll display this here in the we Weapon Society in memory of Wyatt. What? That power popper is way too excellent to, to leave on a wall. Lots. No, I think he's right. It belongs here as a tribute. I'm... I think Lutz is right, but... No buts. She's right, Lutz. I think White would have wanted it this way. Uh, you guys really sure about that? Well, okay, now that we've completed this task, we should go. Wyatt. Cheryl? I didn't know. Didn't know what? I didn't know you were into older guys. I just wanted to say I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not your fault you weren't born with good taste. Don't you ever stop? You're such an idiot. I mean, he, she's not wrong. Guys, enough. Okay, okay. This job's a success. Well, the ending was a little sad.
but I guess we did okay. Yeah. All things considered. Wait. Help. What? Back to the gill. All right. Um. I mean, I assume that this weapon synthesis recipe works. If you if you just do it, but we don't have the inferno powder anymore, do we? And I'm. I mean, can we just go back and fight that King Hamilji again for another one? Because I sure would like the, the shotgun, even if it's it sounds a bit underwhelming. Um, I mean, she does have the assault gun, so we're good on that front. Light alloy, we, uh, we should have plenty. Light frame weight. Light alloy, yeah, three of them. Hmm. Yeah, no Inferno Powder. I mean, I guess I might as well... see if I can go to a Mounted Matter Peak and... maybe the... emoji's gonna be there. That would be nice. Um, yeah. So I'm going to... I'm going to pause recording and see if I can find the Himoji and hopefully the powder and um, if not really we'll just continue with the jobs as normal so uh, see you in a moment well I uh, did not find a Himoji because I couldn't actually return to a Mater Mountain Peak uh, the monks are super grateful but they're not going to let me into their temple at all so yeah, no idea if it's possible to get an, another Inferno Powder at this point in the game. Uh, if there is, I don't know how. Anyway, I'm just going to go on for the time being. Wyatt had been in Tifa's house, or, well, Wyatt's ghost, apparently. Researching the synthesis of a new weapon, the Weapon Society confirmed he had been killed in a drowning accident much earlier. Job complete. Spooky. <clears throat> oh yeah, right. We um, still have another job to do for Sonia. So let's see how that goes. Okay. Hmm. Doesn't start automatically. Sonia, we've come to. I know why you've come, Alec. I have foreseen your arrival and waited patiently for that time to come. What? You have come to fulfill my request for, of the guild, correct? <gasps> yes, that's that's right. How did you know? Good. My problem is this. I have a customer who has come to depend on my abilities too greatly. He will not make a decision without consulting me now. How did that happen? After the great disaster, he was so depressed he was powerless to do anything. I felt pity for him, so I gave him free advice from my crystal. His life improved, and he credited me for all of it. He began to prosper, began to prosper, got a good job, and even got a girlfriend. That's great. No, he feels that he had to, that he had no hand in his success. And because of losing everything once in the great disaster, he is fearful of that happening again. So now he will not do anything of his own accord. He consults me for the most minute details, minute details of his life. Wow, that's weak. I know that his girlfriend has grown tired of his reliance on my skills as well. It's just a matter of time before he loses her over it. My advice is just to help, uh, to help one make decisions. My advice is just to help one make decisions, not to dictate decisions. This whole affair makes me very uncomfortable. Wait, he comes. What? I don't hear anything. Hi, Leia. Hold on. I'll just be a moment. Uh... Uh, what? Just stand over here and listen. Okay. Sonia, hello. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you helping someone else? No, they were just interested in my services. Really? Well, let me tell you, you should love her advice. Sonia's fortune-telling is the best, no doubt about it. Follow her advice to the letter and you're, and you're golden. Hmm. 
No, no, don't overstate my talents. My client's effort is the most important compo uh, component of success. Ah, you're too modest, Sanya. I know you're great. Everybody here does. You took me from nothing and made me into somebody. I'll never forget that. Anyway, I came here today to ask uh, where I should go on my date this afternoon. You can't decide that on your own? Was I asking you? I don't think so. Anyway, what do you think, Sonia? Let me see what the crystal says. Sonia? I see Lake Roma. Lake Roma, got it, thanks. I mean, she she doesn't need to be helping him with this, right? I can hardly wait to see what great things happen, happen there this time. The last time we saw the most amazing sunset there. The time before that, we found a whole cache of, del of delicious tree beer... What? Delicious tree bear nuts. Okay. Every time I go on a date that Sonia picks, something great happens. I can hardly wait to see what happens this time. Okay, Leia. Are you ready to go now? Oh, that's that's his girlfriend. Okay. Well, he's certainly chipper now. He's definitely completely into your fortune telling, Sonia. Yes, but he misunderstands the purpose of what I do. He gives credit to me for everything when he is responsible for much of his success. But there will be time to speak of that later. You must follow him. This is your chance to open his eyes. What? Actually, I saw bad things for him at Lake Roma, but I sent him there anyway. What? Why did you do that? I want to teach him not to rely just on my fortune telling. But what gives you the right? You're putting his life in danger. Actually, his girlfriend asked that I do that. And that makes it alright? What kind of girlfriend is that? The one he left with. The one who is as concerned with him as I, apparently. This lesson might put them in danger, but she felt that it is a lesson he must be learned. That must be learned. And I agree, though. Though I do not wish him physical harm. I see. Then that is where you come in. I want you to watch over them both. We'll give it our best shot. Sure. I mean, so long as it's just monsters or bandits or something. No problem. Thankfully, this quest for a change seems pretty straightforward. But we'll see. Uh, go hide behind one of those stalactites? Or are those... Actually, those... I don't know what those are. No, they, they are uh, stal stalagmites, of course. But they don't usually appear under, you know, under an open sky. Maybe they're just this, these little stone towers that people pile up. Ah, this is perfect. Sonia was right again. Hmm. What's wrong? You look like you're troubled. Oh, it's nothing. Well, that's good. This is going to be a perfect day. Sonia said it would be, and I believe her. And this guy is too wrapped up in Sonia's predictions. Well, at least he's kind and treats his girlfriend well. He had the last session just to find the perfect place for a date with her. <sighs> yeah, but there's something creepy about a person that personally indecisive. I think you've gone too far with that judgment. What, are you defending him now, Marcia? No, I just said he's not a bad person. Look, arguing here isn't going to solve anything. Wealthy, what do you think? I thought you'd never ask. Shh, they're going to hear us. Leia, remember? This was where we had our first date. Right, how can I ever forget that? It was so sweet. You told me you had no token of love to give me. So you dove into the freezing lake and gave me a pretty shell. I still carry it with me. Didn't you notice it on my necklace? What a romantic. I think it's embarrassing that you have only that as a token of my love. Forget about it. What? I'll get you something better. Much better. I just need to ask Sonia where to find it. Stop that. What? You don't want a better bauble? No, I love you. I 
I just want a token of your of your love you picked, not Sanya. But I am going to get it. I just need her to tell me where the best... Stop! Stop it! But I'm doing my best for you. <sighs> Serious dysfunction. Dead ahead. I know. Wait here. I'll go ask Sanya how to make this better. Stop it! Just stop it! Why must you always go to the fortune teller? <laughs> Alec, things are getting pretty tense over there. Um... I don't think we should bust in. If anything... Um, you want to let them keep fighting like this? Are you sure, Alec? It's not the best way, but we have to see if they can work this out. But what if they don't? I mean, if they don't, they don't? It's really not our business? Guys, heads up! What's that noise? Is somebody there? Uh, hi. Yeah! What? No, oh, it is monstrous. Good. Whew, something I can deal with. <laughs> this is not good. No, no, no. It's perfect, Lutz. We gotta help them. I can't believe Sanya knew there'd be this many monsters, Alec. Their lives are in real danger. All the more reason we need to stop talking and jump in. Right. And suddenly they're completely surrounded. <sighs> what do we do now? Y'all come here? Y'all run that way? Uh, I guess, come here. What are you doing here? Leia, come on, we need to do what the hunter said. But, yeah, maybe you should really listen to us. We need to do what he told us. But we're surrounded. No, you're not. There is a way just in our direction. Uh, we, we can't make it. What do we do? Answer. <sighs> I mean, leave this to us. No, he has to make his own decision. What? You would deny help to ones in need? What kind of a hunter are you? Yan, you can do this. Just make a decision. Leia. Be brave. The choice is pretty clear. Just tamp into your courage. You must have at least a little. Do you love Leia because of Sanya or because of what you feel inside? Trust your feelings and make a decision. By myself? Are you crazy? You did it before you met Sonya. The ability must be within you. Show your strength. Leia, uh, th this way. Come with me. Watch out. Oh no. Psst. What the heck? <laughs> well, now that that's out of the way, how about we take care of these pests? <sighs> I thought you'd never ask. Well, that was a weird run again. Um, let's see here. See, was about to level up. Uh, sure. Actually. Oh, we'll see. These are the low-level versions, of course. Uh, Man Eater? I don't know. Maybe they're okay. Um. Yes. And turn. Steal something. Nope. The thing is, I did capture one of the crystal gargoyles, and um, yeah, of course, I wasn't thinking because uh, all the all enemies of the same category tend to do the same thing. So that's a second para paralysis card. Uh, I'm not sure it's worth having two of these. Also, I don't remember what the Abyssal gargoyle's level was. It might have been lower than the crystal gargoyle. So I'm just going to get rid of this one. Obviously, it's a it's a complete waste. Oh wow, that looks nice. I think I might never have actually used a gargoyle card before. Okay, it mostly missed anyway. Not that it matters at all. <clears throat> Maybe it wouldn't have been a bad idea to hold on to two paralysis cards. Just in case. Especially since uh, none of these monsters is gonna make for a very good damaging card, I don't think. Oh, really? Can you not? Uh, I guess. Well, maybe from here? Nope. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out.
Um, well, you don't really need to do anything. Just wait. Steel failed, of course. So why would it ever work? Can you capture one of these? Nope. Denied. I think these are... Hmm. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm not so sure what these man-eaters do. Uh, well... I thought it's damage, but maybe it's some kind of status effect after all. Well, we'll see. If I actually get around to capturing it, or trying to capture it again. Nice one. And not enough to level up? Oh, Tam's Root. Right. <clears throat> Alright. Um, this... God, who, whose turn is coming up first? Lots of Theo. Didn't pay attention. Ah, oh, dang it. Let's just use an item. Sure. We have plenty of these. And we can always buy more. Hey, nice. Level up from using an item. I'll take it. Magic up. Ah, it was Lutz. Okay. So he could have killed... Um, or, not killed. He could have uh, cured the paralysis, but whatever. Please, Kardish. There we go. Attack was two. Magic and magic up. She deals a surprisingly... Uh, surprisingly good damage with her... with her weapon. Steel? Steel failed. So... Nope, oh, what's the card do? Strikes with branches and throws seeds. Okay. I mean, it's only a level 22 monster, so it's probably not going to be super good, so... We'll see. Maybe it's not, not a terrible idea either to... or not, not a terrible thing to have an AoE attack that doesn't one-shot everything. Or close to. <sighs> well, that's done. Now to check on our newly decisive Yan. I mean, I'm not sure this little event here changed his entire attitude, but we'll see. I'm so happy you're all right. Uh, you're all right, yeah. <laughs> I still wonder why those monsters attacked us suddenly. After all, you saw that Roma Lake was the best place for our date. I have something to confess. Actually, I saw that bad things would happen there. What? Oh my god! What were you trying to do? Get us killed? Jan, don't be mad at her. I asked her to do it. Oh, this is just priceless. What else have you plotted behind my back? Jan, it's not like that. I did it because I love you. Well, that's one hell of a way to show it, pussycat. No, Jan, listen. I was just afraid that you were relying too much on Sonia's fortune telling. You were losing your sense of self, your sense of self, losing the part I fell in love with. Yan, Leia thinks you're important enough for her to risk your whole relationship to help you see what was happening. She wanted to wanted you to see that my fortune telling doesn't decide anything; it just shows possibilities. I, I don't know what to say. Please, just tell me you still love me. Leia. Well, out with it. I, I love you so much. Hey, <laughs> just like at the lake. Well, this turned out well. Look at our, look at our two lovebirds. Shh. Were you watching us? 
Well, that's uh, never mind. Sanya, I don't know what we would would have done without your help, and you too, Hunter. The only thing that bothers me a little is that Leia planned this, and I knew nothing about it. That should make you happy. She's a very intelligent lady who loves you very much. Well, when you put it that way, I guess I have nothing to complain about. I'll be back for you again soon. Goodbye for now. Bye bye, Yan. Well, this was awkward as all hell. You all did great. This even worked out better than I foresaw. Well, I'm just glad they're still together. They seem very right for each other. Indeed. Well, that's a success. We should report to the guild, I suppose. Yep, that's a success somehow. Well then. Hey there, Artie. Okay. So let's report that that resounding success and see what that next job was all about. Get bounty. Um, excuse me. Oh, get bounty. Monsters attacked a couple at Roma Lake Shore, urged the man to make a decision, and he did. Doesn't sound like much, but it was a big deal for him. Job successful. Alright. Traveling duo's great discovery, right. Oh, Archmon Giga special delivery, that one's new. And that sounds somewhat important. Uh, a brother and sister have found a mysterious item on a major mountain peak and uh, that appears to strengthen weapons. Contact them on mountain to test their theory. Alright. This request is a little on the unusual side, but we still accepted it? Right, yeah. Okay, we have, we have read that before. But oh well. Clients are waiting at the top of Mount Amater. Meet with them at once. Well. Of course the monks are going to... Let us go there now. Now that we have a job. Uh, what is taking the hunter so long? He should have been here by now. I don't know. I hope he didn't get lost. Wait, brother. Someone's coming now. Hello. I'm Alec. The guild sent me. G -g -g good What's wrong? I'm sorry. Don't mind my brother. Well, so is... Are you going to be alright? Well, honestly, this is ridiculous. I'll, I'll tell them for you. My name is Lumina. I'm the one who requested your help at the guild. And this quivering mass is my brother. I'm uh, uh, Alban. The job said you discovered an item. Y yes, we... we. Buck up, Alban. Spit it out. It's... well, I mean... This is really starting to get on my nerves. I'm sorry. Fine, I'll tell them for you. You see, our whole family is traveling what's left of the world. When all our paths cross, we'll build our dream store here and sell fantastic goods. Uh, our dream store there and sell fantastic goods. I guess it takes all kinds. This all seems very familiar somehow. Yep, sure it does. Is Dorvin your father, Lumina? <gasps> yes, but how did you know that? We're way too familiar with Dorvin. You've met their father? Well, if you call letting the crazy wizard try to kill us, yeah, we've met. That nutcase gift wrapped us for a pack of roving monsters. Lads. Hey, and uh, Lumina's brother called Robin? Yes, Robin is my big brother. R Robin's just a little younger than me. Well, we met up with him too, and that little meeting nearly got us killed. Uh, um, uh, sorry? We harbor no ill will. It was an honest mistake, and we were there to do a job. We do whatever we ca we are called on to do. You are a man of honor. Thank you. I'm just glad to hear they're all okay. With us scattered, it makes me so nervous. Uh, well, what are we here to do? Yes. When we came here, Lumina noticed that her sword began glowing. 
It was really bright and it caught our attention. A sword was glowing? Yes, and it gets stranger. When I looked at my feet I saw an item. But it was an item still buried in the ground. The two of us tried to dig it out, but it was too large and buried too deeply, so we left it. Uh, however, th this item... It, it seems to have the power to strengthen weapons. Since we are not skilled in using weapons, we can't judge its effectiveness. So we put in a request to the guild for a hunter to come. We decided a hunter would know if it worked. So... So we want to walk over the we want you to walk over the area with your weapons. The, then to see if your weapons gain power to make battling monsters easier. I see. I had an idea this is where we were headed. Well, what do you think? I think this is one job you can do without. Their family is all crazy. <laughs> but you heard them. It strengthens weapons. Can you imagine how much money we could make? No. They think it strengthens weapons. Big difference. Please, you have to help us. You're our last resort. Everyone else refused. For good reason. Please help us. If this works, we can finally open that shop with our family. But... Please... <sighs> What's the big deal? It's not... It's not like we're drinking a potion or anything. She's right. Besides, we accepted the job at the guild. It's our job to finish it. To wealth. Uh, thank you so much for reconsidering. The strange thing I saw is buried here. Uh, it's buried there. Actually, where? Oh, there. Me first, me first! That stood over the mysterious item. Whoa. Ooh, did you see that? Sparkles! Okay, okay, my turn. Turtle stood over the mysterious item. More sparkles. I'll be damned, it does sparkle. I suppose I'm next. Okay. This is definitely interesting. My turn now. I mean, I wonder what these sparkles are really doing. Yep, exactly. I mean, they m might be pretty, I suppose. I, I, I'll I, pass. Come on, scaredy pants. Uncle Lutz will help you. This won't hurt a bit. Ah! Theo was pushed over the mysterious item. Oh, no. No, no, this is all wrong. You shouldn't have done this. Don't you remember what happened before? We don't need to have everyone try this. That is very true. Hey, you know what? I think you're right. Oh well, too late now. Yeah, unfortunately. Well, it does seem to have affected our weapons. Then it's all good, isn't it? Ah, monsters! Oh, what? Your card? What about your card? I can't sense any power from the card. It's strange. That's never happened before. Now that he mentions it, I sense... Sense what, Marcia? That the power of Gaia magic has just vanished. Wait a minute. This is starting to make sense. I believe you're right. But I don't like where this is headed. The weapons didn't shine because they were getting stronger. The sparkles were draining the power from everything but the weapons. Wow. I never would have guessed that one. Amazing. Yeah, amazingly bad for us. Huh? At least we're not getting attacked by monsters this time. That would suck. I mean, not really, because we're really killing mo monsters with like 90% weapon power anyway, but... Um, excuse me. Hold on, we're trying to figure out what to do now. No, you don't understand. Right, we didn't understand that our magic items and spells would be drained. We're trying to fix that. No! Mo mo mo. More? What are you? Some kind of weirdos that like to see other people suffer? We aren't getting on that thing again. It. it. He's trying to say there's monsters over there! Great, from bad to worse. 
Albert and Lumina, run away! We'll have to take care of this! Yes! Let's get out of here! <sighs> this isn't going to be easy. We can't use Gaia magic or monster cards. That leaves us with only our weapons and our wits. If that's all Lutz, if that's all Lutz is a dead man. Hey, enough of that talk. We need to band together to win this. Right, once this must be defeated using only weapons, no magic. <coughs> I mean... Yeah? Okay. So Theo is not going to be super useful. Uh, she can at least attack multiple enemies at once. Actually, maybe Theo would be more useful than, than Marcia. I don't know. None of these enemies are very dangerous, so... Okay, that's one down. Two down. Should I even bother? The thing is, none of these enemies are going to be... Um, are going to give us a huge amount of experience anyway, so... Whatever. More time, Shrewd. Yay. Well, that was that. I don't know how we did that, but I'm glad. Really? <laughs> are you all? Are you all okay? 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 How can we be okay? We just about got pounded into fertilizer just now, and it was thanks to to you and your weapon enhancer. We we had no idea. You must believe us. We never would have put you through that if we had known you what would happen. Yeah. Well. It, doesn't make my boo-boos feel any better. <laughs> Your boo-boos. <sighs> She's right. We had no idea. I apologize. On behalf of my whole family. Well, in any case, it turned out alright. The monsters are defeated, and we are still alive. If Lutz hadn't pushed me onto that power draining thing, everything would have been even better. Hey, I was just doing it because I thought it'd make you more powerful. Next time, spare me the favors. Okay, guys, enough. I I don't know how to properly thank you. Or, or to thank you all properly, I guess. <sighs> we really do owe you our lives. And now, we know the effect of the item, so it must never be used again. I, I know we can't make this up to you, but I want to, to tell you something to try to make up for your pain. I, I, I want to give you information about weapon synthesis. When you synthesize a rune wand with a magic power nut, you end up with a magic stick. Woohoo! All right! Magic stick? Sounds like something that will benefit Marcia. I hope I can master it. What kind of weapon is it? It sounds interesting. It, it, it increases the usage frequency of magic. Usage frequency? What's that supposed to mean? You synthesize a rune wand with a magic power nut, right? I'll remember, I'll remember that. I mean, I don't think we have either a rune wand nor a magic power nut. I mean, magic power nut is one of those rare um, those rare um, items that increase well, either MP or, or magic. Hmm. I don't know if it's if it's better to use it in synthesis than just using it to straight up increase stats. Once your family opens a shop, be sure to come by and visit us anytime. We'll certainly do that if we can find you. Here, I have something to give as an apology as well. Woohoo! I'm up for presents! No, this gift is for Theo, though it will benefit you all. This is for me? 
Yes, I want you to have it. I'm sorry, our stupidity nearly got us all killed. It's no big deal, really. Nevertheless, I want you to have this card. Will you take it? I'd love to, but I can't carry any more cards. Oh, come on, really? I appreciate the thought, though. Fucking kidding me. Will you take something else instead? I guess. What did you have in mind? Smooch. Uh, that's what I was expecting in the first place, to be honest. Thank you so much! N not at all. What? What's wrong, Lutz? Nothing. Uh, nothing at all. Well, I guess this job's done. Not just yet. Huh? Let's review what just happened. Here, Theo, sweetie pants. Take my monster card. This is from me, hottie babe. I just met. Yes, honeypot. I want to get to what honeypot. I want to get to know you better. I'm so sorry. What? I nearly got you killed, and I want you to take this lo this love card. What? It's no big deal because I want to seem stronger than I am, baby cakes. What the hell is going on? Let's. Will you take this so we can make a love connection? Lads? <gasps> Eek, don't hurt me! Idiot. Lumina, we have to go soon. Yeah, like right now. <laughs> Will we meet again soon? Goodbye. Yes. Um. I have no words. And if you see our family along the way, um, be very, very careful around them. Uh, and please tell them my big brother and I are fine. Yeah, that too. No problem. No problem, sweetie, hottie, love. Lots. <sighs> okay, we're done. This job is over. And it would have gone even smoother, <laughs> smoother if w if it weren't for Lutz, as usual. Yeah, why don't we get some great synthesis info in, this, in the apology? Right. Anyway, this job is a success. Yep. Let's go report to the guild. Oh boy. Hmm. I really wonder what's up with that monster card, though. I mean, not that a single card is ever going to make a huge difference, I guess, since they are one-time use only. Hmm. Actually, yeah. Oh well. I don't think it's worth repeating this whole quest over. Especially since I didn't save right before it, so... <clears throat> anyway. Let's just get bounty. Uh, mysterious item. During a grueling battle. Grueling battle. Determined that the item's effect was to cancel magic abilities. Client provided weapons uh, weapons information as thanks for the assistance. Also a kiss. Job complete. Sub job. Uh, training monks Roman's trouble. Nana from Paces is worried about her sweetheart Kurt, who is training to be a service monk at a major temple. Wait, aren't they supposed to live in celibate celibacy? Uh, meet her at the path to a major mountain. Okay. Path begins to the right of a major temple. Yes, thanks. And I assume this one is a special one. Archmark Iga needs an important letter delivered to Lachalt, a researcher in Perut. Okay, that's a new place. Iga has arranged for transportation and is waiting for a hunter at a major temple. Okay, so I'm not going to accept that right now. So that's definitely going to be one that's uh, going to be exclusive. Now the question is, we're at 54 minutes here, I don't think it's worth tackling another job, so I might just um, might just cut this episode a little bit short. Um, yeah, I mean, it's really no point in starting something new at this point. So as always, I thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye bye.